Hello guys, welcome to this video. In this video, we will learn how to use the INVT or Invert GD10 Inverter to run an induction motor. Actually, I am going to do no load test and uh, we will learn how to get a start with this inverter type. This is a single phase inverter and the GD10 series are good inverters for low power applications, right? Here you can see the power terminals of the inverter and here we have control terminals communication terminals so here you can see the line and neutral port and we have positive side and this is for actually the positive and pb or for external break if we want to use the external break and here we have U, V, and W, three phases of the inverter output ports. And here you can see the ground port. So, first of all, I should apply the single phase input power here. So, I have... Uh, a single phase power supply let me connect the input so this is the line and this is the neutral so first I connect the line and then the neutral line here so, this is the first step. I don't want to connect the outputs to be able to measure the input voltage and also measure the output voltage and also check the inverter. Then we can connect our load. That is a three phase induction motor. So, let me turn on the power supply. So you can see the blinking number here. That is the output frequency of inverter. So I am going to measure the input voltage. So here, let's select the AC. And here is the input voltage that is equal to 223 right the RMS value of input voltage so if I measure line to line of the output voltage it's equal to 0.2 or 0 right because the inverter is off and if we want to have output voltage, I should run the inverter. So here is the getting a start, quick start guide of the inverter. And you can review the flow chart of the quick startup of this inverter so here uh, after turning on the power we should restore to factory settings actually this parameter p00.8 we should set it equal to 1 right so here i click on program enter data then i use this button to select P0018 data. So according to this quick 
start up guide i should set the value of this parameter equal to 1 and i press ok enter data so the next is setting the value of p0200 as you can see here and if you look at this table from quick start guide P02 group are actually motor parameters, right? So we should set the motor parameters. First, this is a 1 HP for pole induction motor. So here I escape from this option and I select P02, enter. And let's start with the first parameter. So the first parameter is the output power. Actually, here you can see the list of parameters. Zero one is the output power, rated frequency, and so on. So I set the value of output power equal to 0.8. Okay, the value of frequency is 50 Hz. Okay, the value of rated speed of the induction motor is 1400 RPMs. And then let me set the P03, that is a speed. P04 is the line to line terminal voltage that is equal to 230 and 05 is the rated current of this motor the rated current is 1.9 right so i consider it equal to 2 that is the rated current of this motor so i press ok enter data and escape and right now what is the next step the next step is pressing the quick jog here you can see the flow chart and here is the next step so quick jog right and then we should uh, set up the starting parameters of the motor. Uh, the first one is P001. So I select P001. Okay. What is this parameter? Uh, here you can see the value of P00. That is the control mode here we have only one control option actually open loop uh, voltage frequency control uh, so i press ok and then i should set the maximum output frequency right p03 that is the maximum output frequency of inverter so i set it equal to 50 then we should set the running frequency upper limit so during the operation we don't want to go uh, higher than this value so i press again okay 50 hertz and the next step is setting the value of p uh, zero zero control mode that is equal to two and then uh, we should set the value of p zero four that we set it before then we should uh, set the running frequency and start the motor so i don't uh, connect the motor to the output just 
I want to escape, escape, and run the inverter. As you can see here, the frequency increases gradually. And now let's measure the output line to line voltage. As you can see here, the inverter is on and I measure the line to line voltage that is equal to 232 right so now we have the output line to line voltage I also measure VW voltage that is okay so now when we have this output frequency we have the rated voltage so let's stop and when I stop the inverter, as you can see, frequency decreases. Now, I don't want to apply 50 Hz for the first test. I want to reduce this frequency uh, because uh, this is the first test and uh, it's not good if we start with the rated frequency. So, here you can see this parameter. Uh, P0010 right this parameter P0010 that is uh, K pad setting frequency so I set the value of P0010 equal to let's say 5 hertz right and I press OK, escape, escape. So here the frequency is 5 Hz. And now if I run the inverter and measure the line to line voltage, the value of line to line voltage, as you can see here, is equal to 32, right? Because we don't have the rated frequency and I want to apply a reduced voltage on motor terminals so also we have uh, 32 volts uh, here so let's turn off the inverter and let me disconnect the input power so I turned off the inverter and here you can see the minimum safety time that is equal to 5 minutes and now uh, after 5 minutes I can connect the motor terminal so I have these connections here these uh, wires so first of all let's uh, connect the U phase and W right so here you can see the motor terminals and uh, I want to use the star connection so I connect I short circuit these terminals and now I connect the phase A phase B and phase C right i want to apply the output terminals of the inverter to the motor and i have a star connection here so let's connect the output terminals of inverter to the motor Okay, we connected the output terminals, so make sure that U, V, and W are connected to phase A, phase B, and phase C. Uh, I have a star connection here, and because I want to do the no load test, I don't uh, use external brake here right but uh, if you consider an active load you should use external brake 
and also if you have ground you should connect the ground to the inverter and the motor ground right so i don't connect them so make sure these wires are not in contact with the shaft right that is a rotating part so right so let me move this here and we have these connections uh, right and now let me turn on the power supply to do our first test okay so this is the blinking number here and uh, if i run you can see that the shaft is rotating with a reduced value of a speed and here we have a, a voltage corresponding to 5 hertz right this is the open loop and uh, if I want to increase the speed again I can set this parameter P00.10 right so for example I want to apply 20 let's use with a reduced number 15 hertz okay escape escape 15 hertz so if I run as you can see here we have a higher speed and also I can measure the value of line to line terminal voltage so AC and uh, here is equal to 40 volts so if uh, everything is okay we can uh, do the rated test turn off and let's uh, apply the rated frequency 50 hertz okay escape escape and now we can do the no load test at rated voltage and rated frequency so here the frequency is 50 hertz and we have the rated voltage at terminals and if I press the shift key here I can see the voltage of DC link that is 300 and 4 volts also I can see the RMS value of line to line voltage so let's turn off you can see the instantaneous a speed of the motor also here and let's uh, turn off the power supply okay this was just uh, a short video about using gd10 inverter for uh, doing the no load test of induction motor I hope you find this video useful. Thanks for watching.